The web is going to be able to look at planets that we've discovered around distant stars. Within the immense complexity of our universe, the James Webb Telescope is uncovering previously unknown phenomena challenging our established understanding. It raises the question, do we need to reconsider our fundamental laws of physics? Is it time to revise the textbook description of our universe? Noted physicist Brian Cox is taking the opportunity to discuss his perspectives on these groundbreaking revelations. In this video, we invite you to join us as we delve into the recent discoveries made by the JWST that have sent shockwaves through the field of astronomy. The James Webb Space Telescope, like other NASA missions, started with a question. That question, what's next, was first raised in 1989, even before the Hubble Space Telescope launched. NASA scientists and the Space Telescope Science Institute recognized the need for a telescope that could build upon the discoveries made by Hubble. In the mid-1990s, the concept of a large infrared telescope with a mirror exceeding 4 meters in size, called the Next Generation Space Telescope, was formally proposed and approved. Over the following decades, various international space agencies, NASA centers, industry partners and academic collaborators joined forces to contribute to the construction and development of the telescope. In 2004, the construction of the Webb Telescope commenced. By 2011, the 18-segment primary mirror was completed. And by the end of 2015, all four science instruments of Webb were delivered to NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center for cryogenic testing as part of the Integrated Science Instrument Module. ISIM. Then, on Christmas Day 2021, while many were celebrating with their families, the world of astronomy received a momentous gift, the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. This extraordinary telescope isn't just stationed in space for aesthetic purposes. Its mission is to gaze back in time and study the earliest galaxies that emerged in our universe. It serves as a cosmic investigator, unravelling mysteries surrounding the origins of stars and planets. And the JWST orbits around the Sun at a staggering distance of nearly 1 million miles from Earth. At such an extreme distance, the temperature plummets to a bone-chilling minus 223 degrees Celsius. However, this remarkable mission is not a solitary endeavour. It represents an epic collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. So the next time you gaze at the night sky, remember that the JWST is out there, unveiling the enigmas of our vast cosmos. Now let's embark on an extraordinary cosmic journey, shall we? Our destination is a captivating planet situated outside our solar system, a planet that defies the norms of our own planetary system. Known as Gliese 1214b or GJ1214b, this exoplanet is categorized as a mini-Neptune. It is smaller than Neptune, the ice giant of our solar system, but still two to four times larger than Earth. Mini-Neptunes like GJ1214b are prevalent in the Milky Way, yet they are noticeably absent from our solar system, leaving astronomers with limited knowledge about these intriguing worlds. The enigmatic nature of GJ1214b has further been shrouded by its highly reflective atmosphere, making it challenging to observe, until the remarkable capabilities of the JWST were directed toward this distant alien world. Researchers, led by Eliza Kempton, an exoplanet astronomer from the University of Maryland, made this groundbreaking discovery. They found that GJ1214b is completely enveloped by a haze or cloud layer concealing its atmosphere from previous observations. Kempton speculates that if GJ1214b indeed possesses a water-rich atmosphere, it might have been a water world in its ancient past, abundant with substantial amounts of water and ice during its formation. In contrast to its icy namesake, GJ1214b is scorching hot. Located 48 light-years away from Earth, it is unlikely to harbour liquid water oceans due to its extreme temperature. However, astronomers believe that the planet's atmosphere may contain a significant amount of water vapour. This dense and steamy envelope has contributed to GJ1214b's aura of mystery. To penetrate through its thick atmospheric shell, 
the research team employed innovative approaches while observing the exoplanet orbiting its parent star, Gliese 1214, a red dwarf. Furthermore, GJ 1214b completes one orbit around its star in just 1.6 Earth days. One fascinating characteristic of GJ 1214b is its tidal locking, meaning one side of the planet permanently faces its star, experiencing a perpetual day side, while the other side remains in eternal darkness, gazing into space. By closely monitoring the planet as it disappears behind its star and re-emerges on the other side, astronomers were able to observe both the day and night sides, providing valuable insights into its atmosphere. Now let's continue our journey to our next destination, TRAPPIST-1b, an exoplanet that has revolutionised our understanding of the cosmos. So what exactly is TRAPPIST-1b? It's a super-Earth exoplanet, which means it shares some similarities with our home planet, but on a larger scale. It is bigger than Earth with approximately 1.37 times the mass and 1.12 times the radius. However, it is still smaller than the ice giants Uranus and Neptune in our own solar system. Now, where can we find this intriguing world? TRAPPIST-1b is part of a family of seven rocky planets, all orbiting a unique star named TRAPPIST-1. And where is TRAPPIST-1 located? It resides in the constellation of Aquarius, approximately 40 light years away from us. While this distance may seem considerable in human terms, in the vast cosmic expanse it's relatively close, almost like being neighbours. In 2016, a team of astronomers using the Transiting Planets and Planetesimals Small Telescope, TRAPPIST, in Chile, were the first to spot this exoplanet. One intriguing aspect of TRAPPIST-1b is its proximity to its star. It orbits at an incredibly close distance of only 0.0115 astronomical units. To put it in perspective, it is approximately 30 times closer to its star than Mercury is to the Sun in our solar system. This close proximity results in a swift orbital period, with the planet completing one cycle around its star every 1.5 days. This rapid orbit causes TRAPPIST-1b to become tidally locked. Due to its extremely close orbit, TRAPPIST-1b experiences intense radiation, receiving about four times the amount of radiation that Earth receives from the Sun. Consequently, the planet is scorching hot. If one were to stand on its surface, which is not advisable, the temperature would reach around 227 degrees Celsius, or 440 degrees Fahrenheit. The James Webb Space Telescope played a pivotal role in advancing our understanding of TRAPPIST-1b's temperature. Despite the challenges posed by the planet's dimness and close proximity to its star, the telescope's remarkable mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, successfully detected the faint mid-infrared light emitted by the planet. This accomplishment was made possible through the implementation of a specialised technique called coronography, which effectively blocked out a significant portion of the star's brightness, allowing the planet's signal to be revealed. By studying the thermal emission of the planet, which represents the heat energy released in the form of infrared light, scientists directly measured the temperature of this rocky exoplanet for the first time. Furthermore, their observations indicated that TRAPPIST-1b lacks a substantial atmosphere. This absence of an atmosphere could be attributed to the planet either losing its original atmosphere due to the star's intense stellar winds and ultraviolet radiation, or potentially never possessing one in its early formation stages. The discovery of TRAPPIST-1b alongside its six companion planets brought about a significant revelation in the field of exoplanet research. It showcased that rocky planets have the ability to form around low-mass stars, which happens to be the most prevalent type of stars within our galaxy. This discovery also opened up new avenues for exploring the diversity and development of planetary systems and offered potential insights into the existence of life on other celestial bodies. These groundbreaking discoveries have sparked a flurry of questions within the realm of astronomy. One other perplexing phenomenon unraveled by the JWST involves the sudden appearance of incredibly bright and massive galaxies mere hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. The rapid formation, the accumulation of an immense number of stars, and the extraordinary luminosity of these galaxies raise profound inquiries. How did they come into existence with such speed? 
How did they amass such an astronomical number of stars? And most importantly, what caused their exceptional radiance? These mysteries challenge our current understanding of the early universe and have prompted some scientists to consider alternative explanations to the conventional Big Bang model. These ancient massive galaxies defy the expected narrative of gradual galactic growth and evolution following the Big Bang. According to our current understanding, the universe should have been more uniform and less structured during those early stages. Yet these colossal galaxies were already present. Renowned physicist and broadcaster Brian Cox has shared his perspective on the intriguing revelations brought forth by the JWST. He clarifies that he is not proposing a defiance of the laws of physics or a complete dismissal of the Big Bang Theory. Instead, he suggests that the JWST's findings offer unexpected and puzzling observations that compel us to re-evaluate our existing theories and models of the universe's evolution, shining new light on this captivating field of study. In a captivating YouTube video, Cox delves into the mission of the JWST and its groundbreaking discoveries. The telescope was initially designed to uncover the faint and small galaxies of the early cosmos. However, to everyone's astonishment, the JWST has unveiled galaxies that are significantly more massive, luminous and intricately structured than previously anticipated. This finding leads Cox to emphasize the need for a revised understanding of galaxy formation and evolution in the early universe, as well as their impact on their surroundings. Additionally, in a thought-provoking article recently published in Scientific American, Cox emphasizes the JWST's ability to provide us with a wealth of new information, revealing a universe that is far more diverse and complex than we had ever imagined. He stresses that these discoveries do not contradict the Big Bang Theory. Instead, they offer valuable insights and raise new questions that require our attention. Cox reaffirms that the Big Bang Theory remains a strong framework that explains crucial aspects of the universe, such as its expansion, age, composition and background radiation. The JWST serves as a powerful tool in helping us bridge the gaps in our understanding of post-Big Bang events, including the formation of the first stars and galaxies, their impact on neutral hydrogen gas ionization and their role in shaping the universe's large-scale structure. Now we invite you to share your thoughts on these JWST findings in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all our latest uploads.